guys so today i have an ulta and payless shoes haul for you guys recently i had gotten in the mail a ten dollar coupon from ulta basically ten dollars off anything in the entire store um because of the status that i achieved last year which i think is because last year i spent more um because i was replenishing my kit and i was getting things for specific photo shoots and whatnot um and i had crossed that 300 point measure or whatever you want to call it um i know the point system changed last year but um so i had ten dollars off anything to use on top of nine dollars off anything because the 300 points i had been saving which i guess is equivalent to nine dollars i don't know but that means i had 19 dollars towards whatever I wanted so and I have not been makeup shopping for me myself in a long time like it's weird like I just find I have you know I'll pick up a thing or two but I haven't actually gone into a makeup store and been like let's go shopping you know I've been buying more for my kit rather than myself because especially for the fact that I haven't been wearing tons of makeup when I work at the daycare and stuff so, anyways so I'm gonna show you the makeup first because that's the most fun part so the first thing I got for myself was the L'Oreal True Match uh, foundation. I have wanted to try this foundation forever, forever, like as long as I can remember. Um, but I just never did, and so now I did. I got the Warm One Tone, which is porcelain. Um, what I did was I went in the store, I got the Revlon Color Stay foundation in 150. I forget what it's called, but it's the one I use and it's the one that works great for me. And I compared it to the bottles I was looking at. Whichever was closest was the one I got. This was closest. Then when I got home, I noticed this could be too pink for me. I hope not. Um, on top of the fact that it's honestly, it's too light for summer because I am getting tanner from being outside so much at daycare. Um, but I put it on today and I think I made it work pretty good. It blends into the rest of my skin. What it does is it does make me look paler. But then on top of that, I put my powder, my face powder, my bronzer, my blush, and it kind of comes together. And I have to say, it's extremely lightweight. This, it, I can see why people love this stuff because it does not feel like I have foundation on, but it had incredible coverage. Like, it doesn't make me oily because I got the... No, this is just the one type. Never mind. But it doesn't make me oily at all, and it feels like I have nothing on. Whereas the Revlon Cover Stay, I love it, but it feels heavy. Like, and I know I have the oily combination skin type, which could make it drier and heavier, but it just feels heavy on my skin, and I feel like it's the type of foundation that if I hug my boyfriend the wrong way, it's like all over his shirt, you know, and that's never cool. So... I just, I really love this stuff. It's so lightweight, but great coverage, and so far, so good. The next thing I saw, and I just could not put down, is, this is new. It's the NYX Avant Pop um, Eyeshadow Palette. Look at how gorgeous these colors are. On top of the fact that the pigmentation is out of this world. Okay, they are super soft and velvet feeling. The pigmentation is amazing. And I just, they're a little powdery. Yeah, a little powdery. But I just think these are so great. They had testers in the store and it sold me right then. Um, they had two other palettes which had like crazier colors in them. And the one I was drawn to was one with crazy colors. But then I was like, Lauren, you're doing it again. You want to get a crazy color palette because you think it'll finally make you use them. But then you're never going to use it and you're going to regret not getting the last of the neutrals that was there. I know I have tons of neutrals, but it's my weakness. And these are great and I don't regret getting this. Next, I got a Real Techniques brush that I've been wanting to try forever. I have several Real Techniques brushes. I have the, the rounded um, buffing foundation type. I have the blush brush, which I use for all over powder. And now I have this. Um, and this is the Your Finish Perfected Setting Brush. So this is made for like under the eyes. It is a really big fluffy brush, as you can see. I mean, this is a big brush, but it works. I use it to set my under eye concealer today and I do really like it. It really blends out cream products well, as well as um, applying powder products really nicely. Um, and I just love it. Real Techniques does it again. 
The last makeup product I got is the NYX Color Correcting Concealer Palette. I wanted, I really want the light concealer palette for me. That's what I really want. But it's always out of stock whenever I go to check. But they had this. This is actually for my kit. Those three items are for myself. And this is for my kit because I have been needing to replenish some good color correcting things in my kit. And these are really creamy, really nice to use. Um, and they have all the tones that you could need for acne, for redness, rosacea, for um, blue under eyes, things like that. So glad I got that. That was a good investment. So all together, I saved $19, but I still had to pay because this by itself was $17. But for 10 really good quality eyeshadows, and they're pretty decently sized, I'd say it's worth it. This was $10. The Real Techniques brush was, I believe, $7. And the NYX palette, I want to say this was about $10 or $12. Um... But yeah, I just, I really like what I got. I like that I got a few things that I'm really excited about and that I've been wanting to try, but I didn't go too crazy and I still saved, like, I think over half of what I paid was the, um, was the $19, so really cool. Next, it's on to Payless. The reason I have Payless in this is because I wanted to get some comfy black shoes for makeup gigs because I have nice black shoes that I wear to makeup gigs but they are heels, they're uncomfortable, they're more for looks than they are for comfort and working and you know I actually went to a makeup gig today which is why I'm dressed in the black. You know I have a black skirt on too and I actually wore one of these shoes um, but you know so I try to look professional to go to these but I get so uncomfortable, my back starts to hurt, my feet start to hurt in these nicer looking black shoes. So I was on the hunt for comfortable black shoes. So the first pair that I got, because I went to two Paylesses, and I'll explain why. <laughs> the first pair I got is Safe Step Comfort. And honestly, I don't really like how these look because they just, they don't look that fashionable, but they are comfortable because they have like the little squishy padding on the heel here. It's not like they are a heel um, and they can go with anything and they do what they're supposed to do. So got these, these were $30 about. But then I had stumbled across these. These are champion sneakers, well kind of sneakers, um, with sport comfort and they are like really squishy kind of memory foam inside. Um, these are knockoffs of the Skechers that look very similar. The story behind this is I bought a pair of the Skechers last year when I started working at the daycare because several people wear the style shoe at the daycare and I love how it looks. I love how comfy it sounds um, and they go with everything that you have to wear there. So I bought the Skechers pair and then it ended up not working out because it's like I don't remember if these were the sizes, but the six is just slightly too small, so it hurts, or the six and a half was slightly too big, so it was, it was um, coming off my heel and causing blisters and stuff. So I gave up on the Skechers, but then I found these. These, would you believe it, are a five and a half. I am never in a five and a half. I'm always at least a six, if not six and a half. Um, but I tried these on, and this is the size I need for these to work. These still can be a little loose on me but these work and I love them they're so comfy for the daycare so these are not for makeup gigs but I had to get them because I finally found a pair that worked these were $35 but I love them they are you know cheaper feeling like yeah sorry that they're already dirty but I've already been wearing them they are like in this white part they are cheaper feeling than the Skechers but I don't care I love them so that was one pay less trip and I actually had, it was buy one, get one half off on top of a 15% off retail me not coupon. So I ended up paying something like $46 for both pairs rather than like 60 or something like that. So good savings. And then in my next Payless trip, I went to a different Payless near me because my coworker has this style shoe that I like. And I was like, where'd you get those? She says, Payless. And I said, oh, I didn't find them at this Payless. So maybe they're at the other. Um, they were. 
So they're this style where they're like a flat type of, they're not a sneaker, but they're a slip on. Um, so they're comfortable for a job like the daycare, but they look a little better because of the lace. And I thought I can pull this off for makeup gigs. They're by Airwalk. And these are size five and a half. Would you believe it that what I think it is is in regular shoes and stuff like heels, rain boots, moccasins, sneakers, I am six, six and a half, sometimes even seven. But I feel like in slip-ons, I'm a smaller size because your foot has to kind of do the work as to keeping it on your foot rather than shoelaces and stuff like that. So, got five and a half. These work. I wore these today to my makeup gig. I think I pulled it off. They were a lot more comfortable. And yeah, so good, good, good. So that is my Ulta and Payless Shoes haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave comments telling me your favorite thing. And if you guys are eyeballing any new makeup or shoes, give this a video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.